Speaking of women loving bums, right? That's going to bring me to my next topic. Bums. Y'all familiar with that 20v1 balloon game, that dating game? Where the people come out and they you got to pop the balloon if you don't like the person in front of you type shit? Mm -hmm. This is a direct reflection of the women today. You'll have and, I, and I'm realizing it. <laughs> Listen, I'm you realizing got dudes like, coming out. Y'all really think like this, huh? Y'all you got dudes up. coming out. We live well, well, well mannered. They 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 talk with proper etiquette. They got real careers. Dudes working in tech. Dude was a plumber. All type bitches is immediately popping the balloon. If you're not a scammer, they're popping the balloon. I Man. seen a dude get on the show and say, I make 90K. The bitch popped the balloon and said, yeah, I was thinking more so 100 plus. And this is a bitch with no job. Yeah, make 100 plus. This is a bitch that's probably unemployed. People at her parents' house. When you look. When hold you on, look hold on. At, oh, you right now. This 20v1 balloon game, you notice how not too many other races ever get on that show. It's only black people getting on there making a goddamn buffoon of the entire community. And this is a direct reflection of the women. And it shows why the fuck our marriage rates are in the toilet. It shows why the fuck we have the worst family structure out of every race. This show was a direct reflection of that. It actually needs to be taken off the air. It was funny at first, but the shit ain't even funny no more. It's a complete embarrassment to black culture because we all are not like this. All our women are like I, this. That's what I was just going to say. Hey, y'all got to get on these bitches' asses because they're not going to listen to us. Anytime we try to correct a woman, they're just going to say we hate men. So when y'all don't get on these bitches' asses, it make it look like y'all all like that. Well, well, I, but I was going to say that. Is, look, I was married. I was married for 10 years, right? Only reason I tried to stick it out to the end because I am loyal, right? Mm -hmm. The only reason it didn't work because he was an abuser. You can't stay with an abuser. Mm -hmm. Mentally and physically, I had to leave. So it wasn't because of me. It was because I got tired. And the person get tired, that's the only reason why. Do I mm -hmm. like being single? No. I don't. Mm -mm. I like to be in a committed relationship and be submissive. Mm -hmm. So I already know that, <laughs> you know, the, the thing about the, you know, the women, the, the stigmatism that we have about them, everybody is not the same. You know, I said this social media has made people um, superficial. Mm -hmm. Want stuff that they don't even. A lot of the girls you ain't have, never seen in your life, bitch. You never even been out to country until never, after COVID. Exactly. Hey, look, I see someone say it, it, those are skits, but I'm telling you, as a man who's been on the dating market and talked to women, this shit real life. These bitches I'm that you see on our show, no, they just no, like that, like that. Hey, this, hey, this like, the worst in history they've been cooked. Before, honestly, <laughs> like, I was That's oblivious, fatness, right? Because right? I've been put away. I've been married. I've been with the same person for 17 years, right? So I was oblivious to this shit. But now as I'm single, I'm like, oh, y'all motherfuckers really stupid out here. Like, you, the so girls, do you, the boys. <laughs> so do you wish you would have just stayed married at the end of the day, the one who wasn't in an abusive relationship? Do you wish Me? you, yeah, for the abused one, just learn jujitsu or something, how you can get his ass up off you. But for you, were you, uh, are you, are you, do you have any remorse? Like, damn, maybe I should have tried to work a little harder on my marriage. Because I know y'all like 40 years old. I know this shit is Bitches in Atlanta right now, like My everybody in it for themselves. So, 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 do you wish you had stayed married? And then, and if viral will allow it, will allow it. I would like to make my point that I was gonna make before. But go, go ahead, ahead. Man, make your make your point. I want to ask her: Does she wish she had stayed married? Yeah, <laughs> man, that's crazy. I, yeah. So yes, you do. Oh, I mean, thank I you for your honesty. Like, so before, like I said, I just was I was oblivious to a lot of shit, right? And then me. Do I do I wish I would have stayed married? Yes, but me leaving allowed me to see my faults. You see what I'm saying? Did anybody like, outside you of your family? Huh? I, I but I would anybody say, did, did anybody outside of uh, your marriage help influence you leaving? Uh -uh, I just, like friends, I just, nobody, I just, nobody had opinions on it. Yeah, she was sitting right the one no, sitting right I next to her. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, um, I don't put people in my relationship business, right? Oh, so, God. like, when we separated, everybody was shocked because I don't tell people my business. Like, if I tell you my business, it's somebody I know ain't never gonna repeat it, you know what I'm saying? So, I, I just don't tell people my business, right? 
So I I I should have though because maybe she would have told me like bitch don't leave your husband. Maybe you maybe you, know you need a person like, like me in your life. You know maybe you need a person. Maybe you need a person like me in your life who would have been like, girl, don't leave your fucking husband. Are you crazy? Ain't shit out here. Exactly. Like, but I didn't because I internalized everything. I don't tell people my business. That's just how I came up. You know what I'm saying? What happens in your house? That's why they encourage out. women. That's why they you encourage women to your go. your business to the outside world. That's so, why they but encourage. But hindsight, 2020. I was hey. probably more of a problem than him. Shit. But they, but that's why they encourage women and men to go seek therapy. Go talk mm -hmm. to somebody because mm -hmm. women will walk themselves off a cliff like nothing. But what I want to say is with the pop the balloon situation, look at the lifestyle that the women want to live. Black women, especially because on that show, it's majorly black women. Black women have a problem with dwelling in reality. These women... You know what I'm saying? They get on Instagram, they start scrolling, and they don't understand that this shit is programming. I had to tell my wife, get off the fucking Instagram. Like, mm -hmm. period. Because no, I see her that. scrolling, and I'm noticing Instagram. It make them miserable. In, man, it be injected into our little arguments and shit, and I'll be like, bro, that's don't fact. come it at do. me with no fuck shit that it you do. don't even know the definition That's why I was just on the phone. Nothing like that. Well, so let me I told him, like, damn, you starting to sound just like the niggas on the broadcast. What's wrong? Nah, that's fact. That's, that's fact. Half that shit don't be reality, and they and they don't want to build with a nigga. Not even just saying a nigga got to be broke or nothing, but the lifestyle that they want, they want to know what the fuck they're doing. They want to know what the fuck they're doing. They want to know what the fuck they're doing. The lifestyle that they want, they want it overnight. Get with a man that's rich, and then next thing you know, they they think they. But they flight. gotta understand when you get with a man with a lot of money, all the women want him, so you are disposable. Everybody's hoping that. But does he that, want them? Most men with money, or that Ari. Or that look, hey, look, hold on, hold on. Let me interject. I'm gonna say this about social media, right? It's all programming. The right. thing these bitches gotta understand, and I'm calling them bitches and not women, because the one every that, time you call them bitches, this social media fallacy. <laughs> this is what they are. I'm sorry. This is not disrespect to the real women. I love and respect real women, but the bitches you gotta call them for what they are. The shit you see on social media, 99%, it's not fucking real. These people aren't living these lives. These people oh, rent cars. These not, people got fake jewelry. Ever, These people got prop money. They're going to Airbnb, I, <laughs> acting like they live there. Ooh. Like it's not real, bitches. Listen, bitches are going on these lavish vacations and they look lavish. They're going out and having no money. They just on the trip trying to make it work and suck the, the next dick to get the next meal on the trip. I like, just didn't know. I'm sorry, y'all. I did not know that this is what was going on. The boy, the boy asked me for my number and he said, What I gotta, he said, I got what's your cash app so you can give me your number. I, I said, he, What? Because he's looking at you like a prostitute. Right. Right. Or, so or, like, or, or, or he just so know I'm he like, gonna, he wait, what? Shit. He said, that's what all girls do. That's, that's what all girls do. They say you got to give them, give, the, in order to get her number, you have to send a cash app. Because this is what it is. I said, oh, shit. Now, he, he's a goofy. He's a clown. But this is what it is. Dudes is low-key fed up, and they're not even trying to. They're not trying to even date women no more. It's kind of like they, they just, just want to say, it's like, all right, yeah. baby, how much? I just want to yeah. fuck anyway. So There's let's no more date. Like, here yeah. you go. I got more money than time. Here you go. Take this little 40 ball. Come suck a nigga dick and I'm out of here. Like, now, hey, what? You know, they they don't, $40 is my question. They don't want, well, because <laughs> let me tell you something about hoes, right? Because I know about uh -huh. pimping. A hoe will do the same thing for $50 that she'll do for $500 if she's in a bind. That's the reality about a prostitute. You could be a twenty thousand dollar a night hoe, but if your phone bill is due, you might suck some dick for a hundred dollars because you got to pay your phone bill. So, mm -hmm. women are making everything transactional, mm -hmm. and men we adjust to what women want. Dudes ain't out here putting on all these expensive clothes, buying these expensive ass cars and shit just because we want to have something that freaking put us in the poorhouse. We're doing that because that's what women for decades have told us that they were attracted to, like a peacock. Spreading his feathers. Well, but then the change on. women said they want money. Uh, well, money makes me come and all hold that. So now we just go I have the money. made an observation short, you know, recently. And what I'm realizing that is that you men are trying to make the woman they desire act like the woman they need. And those two things don't mix. Like no, you can't take Instagram bitches and make them act like women 
That's fine. Stop crying. It's not going to happen. They have already chosen their path. It That's is a fine. woman near your vicinity that is a good ass woman and going to hold you down and she going to help you build. But see, niggas' problem is they want to go on Instagram and get mad because the Instagram bitches don't want them because they ain't got no money. But how you going to get mad? That's what she does. Stay in your fucking lane, sir. But, go but to your job. Go down to the cafeteria or wherever the fuck you go eat at. Talk to the bitch behind the register. She but, like you, nigga. But she I don't like think you. She'll, she'll give you her whole check. And she, she but, actually fine mm -hmm. when you go put that bitch in some clothes. But, okay? but I don't think that's so, true because. So, 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 men got to stop that because that's the number one problem. Y'all trying to make bad bitches good women and it ain't going to happen. A bad bitch is a bad bitch. Hey, but what's going to stay a bad bitch? And just because you come along and think because you can see her that you deserve her because you got a couple dollars. No, hey, sir, because that's hey, all hey, Mimi, you good for is hey, a couple dollars. And hey, Mimi, this is what y'all don't realize though. Maybe five to ten years ago, you could say that in 2024, the average bitch that's at that cash register is acting just like these Instagram hoes. Why? Really? Because they have a thousand horny niggas in their DM, like, oh, this fat bitch look easy. I'm kind of down bad anyway. It's a drought. I probably can knock her down real quick. She got a thousand niggas like that in her DM. So she thinks that's the reality now, not knowing you just a fat bitch that every nigga think he could just hit real quick. But she thinks she got it like that. So now that ain't that you two say you ain't lying. You used to be I, humble. Anyway, you used to be it. humble. They're yeah. outside acting like the bad Instagram bitches now. I see it every you day. Ain't lying. Bitch, hey, you, I can't, you ain't lying. Hey, you no, but I, I wanna I want what I think is true uh is the reality is a woman will submit to a man she won't. It don't matter. How that, that, ratchet that's they are, it don't matter that's how much they're showing their ass, uh, because we all you know, we all that's have fact. women you you hitting it right and shit. She just come to the house, start cleaning up and making sandwiches. You ain't even after <laughs> you trying to kick her up out the house and she don't want to live, she's trying to clean the toilet. But what I'm telling you is this: what we gotta accept is that we in America have a pro black America has a serious underworld of prostitute culture when you got the balloon popping show let's be real 90 percent of those women are prostitutes the dude to have access to five and ten women when these dudes me, touch down in your town and they need women they don't go looking for women they hit up all the pimps and say bro who you got you could bring down real quick to be on my little show most of them would date the dudes that they pop in balloons on, but they've already been instructed by their pimp, hey, you better not fucking be over there trying to be romantic with the dude. And those women, whatever they get from that show, they're going to give it directly him to him. Women are already paying, catering to, and nurturing the man they want. The problem with black women is they all want the same men. So they will be okay with being one of ten. Why do one men of five. keep saying that? The last hey, podcast hey, viral, I was just on viral, viral, said that. Viral. Viral. Same remember, thing, that men, remember, all women want the same. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Ahead, viral. That's not remember true. the girl. Hold on. Listen. Remember the girl with the big titties with the orange shirt shirt that y'all interviewed at the podcast spot. The yep. one who talked about she left her husband, her her baby daddy, who was taking care of her, paying all of her bills for cheating, and then right. she went and got with a dude who she was just was one. Married. Of yep. like 10 chicks he was boning and we were like so you left a exclusive relationship to where you were getting taken care of with your daughter's father uh, a, a, tr a nuclear family to go be a side chick for another dude and she said yeah I was okay with that because at least I agreed to it the reality was she was okay with that because this dude was fucking her than, better than the other dude that's all it's about with women Women no, put it's not. women it's not. put it's sex not. over it's everything. Not. It's wait a minute, not. let me finish. It's let me not. finish. It's women, not. women, our women are hypersexualized. This is a fact in America. They put sex over everything. And guess what? If a dude is fucking them better than another dude, they will risk Ooh. it all to that try is. to secure that dude, even if they gotta wrestle him away from other women. Why do you think women put so much emphasis on fidelity? Women in other cultures really don't give a fuck if they man out there cheat. Bro, I used to hang around white chicks in Orange County. You know what they used to say? A man's going to be a man as long as he's taking care of his responsibilities here. Only black women is like, if you touch another one with your dick, I'm going to leave you. But there's, here's the reality. 
they'll threaten to leave you. But if that dick hit that spot, they'll stay right with that dick while it's going to fuck the whole neighborhood. And hey, we got, hey, we got empirical evidence of this. Hey. Our whole childhoods, our whole, we here because of this shit. So hey, y'all can't right. tell us about it. Hey, but look, let me ask the ladies this. Please, I've never got a logical answer. You're married. You got the perfect husband. Your dream husband. Everything's good. Taking care of home. Kids happy. You happy. You find out he cheated. You leave and go back to the streets and go back to dealing with different men. What was the point of leaving if you were just going to go get with another guy who loves you less, who isn't the father of your kids, who already had a roster full of bitches? So... What is the point of leaving? Like, I don't understand. Like, can you give me a logical answer? Why do y'all leave your husbands, <clears throat> your marriages, and destroy your homes because your husband went and this might have been the first time he did it this year? And then you go get it some guys who he got a bitch Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. You the Friday girl, but you cool with it because you say, like Brandon said, oh, but it's my choice. Like, that's some ego shit. That happened to me in that I marriage mean, I was I talking mean. about. In that marriage I was talking about, I didn't leave. I didn't leave. We did. Oh, I thought you left. I thought you no, said you we left. did not leave. Nah, she said she only got abused. Okay. I, I they all say they got I abused. I don't believe them. people. I know I that. I tried to yeah. work it out. You know what I'm saying? Even though I had other things going on with him, I still stayed there. Mm -hmm. Define the abuse. Was it physical abuse or emotional? It was both. But look, you had I had like, like, that shit. <laughs> there's no such thing. Listen, there's no such thing as mm -hmm. verbal abuse. I don't care what nobody you, says. You know, you know when, when he, you was calling me, he was woman, calling me fat. He was calling me. He was he would call me all type of names and things. Let me like ask that. you a question. That's mental abuse now because now hold on. Let me ask you a question. When he called you fat, were you fat? No. She ain't never been fat. I ain't never so been fat. <laughs> Hold on, so you were fit and, and, and gorgeous and just in top notch shape. Now, I need to see how you look. Honestly, I would not say that. Hey, to stand up honestly, real quick. we need to stand up. Hold on, been. Hold on. Hey, get, get her, let us go around. Let us go around. We need to spin around. Always been a baby. We need to spin around this. No, no, she could be bad, but let's see. Hold on, we got to see. I want to see what bro was uh talking about because we're not just calling you fat. Let us the show us the go ahead, show us something. Oh, yeah. Do you got one of them things on your stomach? No, she don't. One of them. No, yeah, don't. Yes, you do. No, she don't. No, I don't. Oh, That's you don't. Not, I walked out today. Yeah, we oh, she's sucking, she's sucking in a little bit. She's sucking in a little bit. No, no. Her go, stomach, to love it. go to love it. Who, who I am. No, nah, we're not bro, going to Instagram. Okay. We're hey, not bro, going bro, to Instagram. I'm not going to I've always been on that Was you ever Was you ever talking to I've always been a certain type of way. Because I believe in taking care of myself because I want my man to keep me on his arm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Hey, so I don't get settled. I don't get complacent hey. with, okay, I'm comfortable hey, hey, with hold my on, hold man. On. Somebody I'm got a question. Somebody got a I'm question. Gonna, I'm going to give the official ruling. She's nice. She has a great No, no, no. Body. no. She, she, she just, you know, yeah. she's torn up a little bit, but she's straight. You, but I'm was you ever this. abusive oh. with your mouth? No. I'm, I'm very mild matter. I'm very laid back. He regrets he done it now. Right now, today, he regrets it. He like, I should have never. And it's, it's it's too late now because I'm we not had some years past. Every, every I nigga forgive that him, every, though. Every, I every nigga it's never that too late. Let me tell you, though. Every nigga that yes, got relationship, no. every nigga that had long-term relationships with y'all tell y'all the same thing and y'all still believe it. If the nigga regretted it, he'd still be trying to get back with y'all. They, they, this is what every He's woman trying says, to get but, back with me. He wants but his but marriage this is what I'm back, saying, but it's nah, years in between. Y'all all say that. He just wants you on the roster again. Exactly. Right yeah. now, bro, definitely yeah. doubling back. Stop. Hey, but look, hold on, hold on. Let me say this, though, ladies, because every female ever who leaves a relationship, one of the asterisks they throw in there that was an issue is verbal abuse. There's no such thing. We're adults. Words are words. Words only hurt you if you let them. I'm five foot six. If somebody makes a short joke, it doesn't hurt unless I let it. Unless I am physically bothered by you calling me short, which that would never happen because it's irrelevant. You have to control 
the controllables. You have to control your own mind, control your own emotions. No other human being should be able to make you feel no type of way. Which is no true. woman that I'm you're doing with. it in front of my daughter and my family nah, and my listen. mother, that becomes like, hey, well, no, listen, you're doing listen. too much. I, 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 don't, but I don't believe you were just innocent, some little innocent saint, and he just started calling you fat ass in front of I'm, your mom. I'm going to tell you something. He was cheating the whole time. He was cheating the whole time, so he was trying to make an out because I worked consistently i make my own money i never asked for anything i supported the i supported the relationship yeah. you get what i'm saying like that was he, the problem i supported the relationship so I, that's I, why had you the left. I had the more that's why money, you left you know, be real that's why you left because you like now nah, 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 while i'm fine let me make y'all understand something when a woman's like i know that a lot of people like we're a little older than y'all right so we come from a different time right so the type of women that we are like we may still be out here you know what i'm saying moving around you know the way we do but we come from an era where um we had you you, you the goal is to get a certain type of man right and so that's what we did like a lot of women had a lot of different babies by a lot of different poopies and rare rats. but the way we came up, the way we came up. Now she used that because of Brandon. No, I know. I, I just don't like the Pookie and Ray Ray shit because y'all don't have that. Brandon kept saying that, and I told him like, I don't. You know what I'm saying? I don't know those people. You know what I'm saying? I never. Y'all know them damn Pookie and Ray Ray. Stop. No, I'm just saying if we gonna use Pookie and Ray Ray for niggas, y'all gotta come up with one for the white. for the white. You didn't call them bitches for the whole episode. But the bitch, bitches across the board. That's okay. And Pookie and Ray Ray is across the board for degenerates. No, but well, what I'm say saying this is like we, you know, we come from a time where like you, you, your nigga rat, like you his best friend. Why you we didn't never get girl. a turnaround from you? Damn all the lessons. Why you didn't get your ass up and turn around? Your sister that got up, get up. We want to see what's going on. Cause I can't listen to nothing you say until I know it's official. Oh, yeah, sure that you probably left you because you got a terrible uh physique. They say me, me, lace me, and she got lace on. So I'm not yeah, going over there. You got on lingerie. We trying to see what's going on. So we this can is know not lingerie. We this need to know is. if it, listen, we need to know if the dude who, who left y'all was in a they, they mental faculties was <laughs> you know, but why was, is that was they Joe Biden? Because that matters. Black people are visual people. So based on the way you look, I'm going to determine whether you were son the brother should have tried to keep. Stop trying to pull. Uh, you know, okay, you all right. You got Randy, you talking too much. Yeah, they, they both got wagons. They both got wagons. I'm, look, saying, look, look, look. I'm the one saying the shit that matter. Y'all sitting, yeah, sitting up listening to these women lie to y'all. I know women don't know how to tell the truth. So 30 seconds. Man, no, no, no. Man, 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 man,